A New York Times story reported that 84% of Americans now see human activity as at least contributing to warming. Wow, almost unanimous. But what they didn't put in that same story is that 75% of those think that it is just one factor of many. Well, that's the opinion of almost every skeptic you've heard from tonight. Another survey from a New York-based educational provider shows kids are now more scared of global warming than terrorism, cancer, and car crashes. The organization that took the survey said one of the main reasons was the media coverage of tragedies like the tsunami. Uh, the tsunami was caused by an earthquake, and as far as I know, even Al Gore isn't claiming a link between global warming and earthquakes. I think to solve these problems, we need, we need to take a step back. Isn't it amazing that fossil fuels have become the enemy? The rise in our CO2 emissions have coincided with the rise in our wealth, our life expectancy, and technological advancement. Fossil fuels are in some ways a victim of their own success. They've helped us in so many ways. We've, we've, we've stopped worrying about whether we can heat our homes or get sick people to the hospital. Instead, we now focus on developing new kinds of energy simply to avoid the possibility of future environmental problems. When you think about the history of the Earth, that's a pretty good problem to have, isn't it? Now, that doesn't mean that we don't want clean air. No one wants the Earth to die. But it's what we do about it that's at question. And let me be clear. The correct decisions will not be made when fueled by frantic alarmism. I can't tell you how many calls I've received from parents saying their kids are now being shown an inconvenient truth completely unchallenged, not just in science class, but in art and math classes. A green hotel in California has just replaced the traditional in-room Bible with an in-room copy of an inconvenient truth. Isn't that appropriate? Al Gore's version of climate change has no longer become science. It's dogma. And if you question it, you are a heretic. You'd think that scientists would look back at their history when out-of-control churches locked them in towers to stop progress and realize that just yelling the debate is over and these people are heretics or Nazis as loud as you can is not really the best way to advance science. However, many have discovered that it is the best way to secure funding. For now, all we can do is look for sober solutions in a world drunk on hysteria. The debate is not over. I have a feeling it's just beginning. From New York, good night.